which is the split. So we're starting with the basic forehand. Uh, before we get to that, we should talk about ready position. So Chad now is ready equally for a forehand or a backhand, forehand to his right, backhand to his left, he's right-handed. His legs are just about shoulder width, knees are bent, racket faces towards his left ear, not in front where he might have blind spots. And this is what we call basic ready position. Now for the forehand, we need to first find the forehand grip. The way we find that is we put the racket in the belly button, the right hand up on the strings, slides down. That's what we call a basic forehand grip. We need to talk now what is the first move of, of the forehand or the backhand, which would be what we call a split step, which is Chad jumps up in the air, a little bounce, that's called a split step. A ready position makes his split step and steps out. That's the first move of tennis. He has his left hand on the racket, the face is slightly closed. Now, after that, Chad will step in with his left foot, make a little circle, hits and extends and holds his follow through. Makes his first move, steps out and turns. As he makes a circle with his arms, he steps in and finishes. And ready position again, makes a split step, turns and hits. And even if Chad is running full speed, he'll still be on balance. In other sports, we call it, make sure your legs are underneath you when you're hitting the ball. Splits, steps out, drops and hits. Splits, steps out, makes his little circle and hits. Some of the kids, we say, when he begins, the racket goes up the mountain, drops down the valley, back up the mountain. As you can see, Chad is using the big muscles of his arm and his hips and shoulders rotate as he's hitting. The last thing to notice, it's very important when Chad hits the ball, his head is still. There's no peaking. 